Hello everybody, welcome to the first semi-final of CCL Season 38. Joining me in the booth is Purple Chest and Squirrel Metal. <laughs> wow. Indeed, and uh, also joining us on the pitch is about a half dozen rocks uh, thrown from the crowd and <laughs> knocking out quite a few players on both sides. Worse for Rick, a lot worse for Rick, but uh, losing a tree isn't going to feel good for Gdanik. Hello, my name is Scaramezzo, and we are here for the semifinals. Gdanik versus Gday Rick Reckless. Shorfs versus Wood Elves, a tale as old as time. <laughs> Should be a wild one. And I'm Purple Chest. <laughs> 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 Hello. Yeah, so it's it's interesting. We've got uh we've got Gadernik um with his super duper dancers. And uh pretty good and catches. Nothing else. No, he's got pretty good oh, catches. Yeah, he's, he's got he's yeah, got yeah. guard catches. A couple of guard catches and a guard lino. Um and then but only eleven men. Uh versus Rick who has two claw pommers and not a lot else either to be honest. Rick Rick's pretty pretty much only got the two claw pommers, right? And uh and a, a bow. field of hobgobs. Yeah, a couple of DPs, but you know, pretty much all all Rick has needed thus far is to claw pom someone every turn and, <laughs> and eventually win. So yeah, I mean, claw pom followed up with a, a rowdy foul, not minding if one's sent off, knowing there's a little bit of a bench has uh, has proved a very successful tactic for him so far. Yeah. I don't think we'll see that change. The pitch invasion here, though, has uh, has given Nick a real opportunity. If he wants to score quick, there is ab Nick. Uh, Rick can do nothing about it. Oh. Yeah, he's Welcome to the next hour of your lives, folks. <laughs> yeah, he's lost one whole side of his rule of five, which, um, again, it's uh, often not how people would set up against elves, perhaps going a little wider, trying to deny them the space down the side. But um, with this pitch invasion, that wouldn't have worked anyway. Uh, but having taken out you know, that one flank of the, uh, of the rule of five, particularly, uh, impossible to stop Nick coming up the left here if he really wants to. Yeah, and you know, with, this, with the rain you? falling, with the rain falling, the elves don't mind going on defense here. Uh, if they could get a quick score and uh, try and push for a two 0 in the first half, would be pretty nice. Yeah, that that was his plan, wasn't it? Even even without the the pitch invasion, he'd set up like he hadn't set up to duck, or he'd set up to go nope. for this. And uh, yes, yeah, interesting. I mean, not, now there's not even a bull to uh, even think about putting a spanner in the works. <laughs> No, I mean, this bull is, is quite a nice anti-elf bull, isn't it? It's um, it's plus move, so it's even faster, moving possibly up to 10 if it needs to. It's got break tackle, so hard to tie down, and it's got tackle. Um, so it may not have a lot of hitty kill skills, but those are elsewhere on the team. But it does have mobility and anti-elf potential. Yeah. Of course, the strength for Dancer does still require an assist for it to hit it, but, um, yeah, that bull, not relevant in this drive. Yeah. And of course, the true evil of pitch invasion scene here. Rick not only doesn't have those players this turn, but next turn they will only be most of them just standing up. Being dwarves, they still won't be able to go anywhere. Yeah. So I guess yeah, he might he might go for a free turn of stall, mightn't he? Oh, I think it's very easy here to stall at least one or two turns. A pretty much score anywhere between turns two to five. It wouldn't surprise me if he waits till four, maybe even puts the hurry up pressure on Nick. Interesting. I guess we'll just depend what on we, how. Uh, what do we have for inducements here? A wizard beyond the wizard. A, a wizard. Just, just the wizard. Yeah, it was exactly 150 TV down. Lovers of knowing where everything is uh, should be aware that Gadenik does have a plus one fame for this match, uh, which of course helped a little bit with that pitch invasion. <laughs> Instant greed reroll from Rick. <laughs> he loves it. This is how he's played. Pay off, this is how he's played every, every game, isn't it? Huh? Yep. Remove team first half, win at second half. Mm. And as I said, you know, pre-game, I, I think with the way this team is built and with what is left alive on it, uh, I, I can't see it being a strategy he alters much. No, no, absolutely. That's pretty much his only chance now. He's got two claw pommers and not much else. Well, two yeah, VPs I think he as well. Was so. Just trying to generate any kind of fouling chance there. Yeah. Good morning, Ardvac, and everybody else as well. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> PC's a disco version of Daredevil. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Hopefully the uh, the rather good series rather than the rather terrible film. Yeah, God, that was awful, wasn't it? Ben Affleck, wasn't it? 
Yeah. It was. Uh, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it was. It was Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner. That's how they met. Mm. There you go. And then got married and divorced. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Oh, I don't care. I was, work- I was working for Fox when they were developing that movie, actually. Mm. I, mean, I, I thought it had all the potential, the right sort of people, and you know, enough money spent on it. It just somehow was completely rubbish. My attitude to Daredevil is is the same reaction as uh, Homelander to that <laughs> the guy in, in the second series of the boys. <laughs> Uh, brilliant. And if you don't know that, then I don't care. I... <laughs> oh, Kale's at E. That's been happening for months to most people. <laughs> wow. wow. So Rick did choose to uh, to take his foul on uh, on one of the line of scrimmage elves that was downed on the pitch invasion, and has fully paid the price. Um, his first dirty player is sent off. He's now down to a max bench of one. But in response, he did manage to uh, chip that elf. But, uh, no apo from Gdanik, so uh, that's uh, another guard elf that's niggled. So it won't make the final. Mm-hmm. Assuming Nick even has a chance to get there. Yeah, okay. Personally, I I know these elves are really thin, but I still think they've got the tools to get this done. I have backed Absolutely. Nick. Yeah. I think you're right there. I mean, I, I, this could go either way, obviously, but Nick's a great coach. This team can win any game. It really, you know, it's really up to Rick to lose, I guess. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't count Nick out just yet. Nope, but uh, I know at least one spectator that's going to be terribly excited uh, by that rather nicely developed guard piece definitely not being in the final. <laughs> yes, Ducky. <laughs> <laughs> Ducky will be happy. I mean, it, not really, because obviously he's still got to win his semi-final match tomorrow. But um, <laughs> you know, like you can't get too happy about it, can you? Uh, I oh, I see. Heard. It was a badly totally hurt. The wrong. niggle is a previous injury. That's um, because of how fantastically well everything is displayed. Uh, I, I read the existing injury, and yes, that is just a badly hurt. So it will be in the fight. Mm. If he's got him, uh, got him well scouted. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, Ducky. Ducky paying attention. Uh, but yeah, Ducky's not not got an easy match at all, has he, against Cyber Knight? That's going to be no. a very That's be another corker tomorrow. I don't know if you saw in your Discord, Jim. I'm not able to make that one. Yeah, that is a tragedy. Hopefully, we'll have Scurum tomorrow. Yes, it's, it's it's sad for me. I really what time is to. that game at? Um, uh, Eleven midday, an hour late. This one, mate. Yeah, no. So, oh. full on five a.m. Uh, maybe, you. maybe. I'll see if I can get up. I'm definitely uh, not staying up all night. <laughs> <laughs> I was say, surely you'll be up with the dogs anyway, won't you? Are they early? Ah, uh, usually I'm up more like eight-ish. Oh, okay, so That's hour after good. that. Yeah. Most people I know with dogs seem to be up by six ish at the latest. Ah, uh, see, w- w- that's because most people work in offices eight hours a day and have to get their dogs out before they leave. Ah, uh, yeah. My no, dogs and I so. are around each other constantly, so <laughs> there's no rush. Sure. So they've they've developed into a, a slightly more relaxed stoner lifestyle. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh, and we also have a fenced-in yard, so they're always in and out. Right. I'd love to have pets, but sadly my partner's allergic to absolutely everything. Which, as I've often said, shows that she has a broken soul. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, Lovely if, fellow if, PC, but... isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't like not cancelling this assist. It's not guard, is it? No, cancel the assist to this one. It was too deep. No, I didn't on. like the whole plan of trying to get a hit on the uh, the stand firm guard chorf. I know. I, I didn't see why that was of value. Really, it's not that dangerous a piece. Yep. And push was perfect. always going to mean it was a good fulcrum to hit back over. Yeah. And it has been. Another badly hurt there. Already, we're seeing the elves down to nine. Yeah, Rick could have Rick could have got this edge guy around, and then he could have had an easy two D on this fella, and uh, he just hasn't. I don't like that from Rick. 
I mean, no, and, and with the with the piling on as well, there's um, there's just not enough assists around, is there, to uh, to now make that uh, that stand firm chorf get a nice easy hit. It can get one die. The uh, the dirty player can come in and assist on the guard on its left, but he could GFI. He could GFI here and get two D. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, that works, but it's you know it's a GFI. It is. Have to do the GFIs. Yeah, I mean, this is classic rig. This is how he's been in every game, just cars after cars after cars. It's incredible. It's it's just, it's probably the greatest run anyone's ever had in Chalice. Of, well, not really, because there's a Gasol Mall, isn't there, and Woohoo Boy. But in in, in in terms of just pure attrition, it's, yes. it's outrageous. It's been truly outrageous the way Rick's team has just slaughtered that everyone. Out. I'm going to pretend I don't remember his name. Uh, I do remember one dwarf team that uh, reached a, a semi-final or final. He says, trying to keep it as vague as possible. <laughs> who I thought coaching-wise was just awful, <laughs> uh, but just managed to exist his way all the way. Mm. And it's—I mean, I think it, you have to find the joy in that in Blood Bowl, or else it'll make you terribly ragey. Mm. That ridiculous, unfair things happen. Good plans fail. Bad plans work. And if you can't laugh at yourself and laugh at that, probably you're going to end up quite cross. Yeah. Yeah, no, I personally attacked by PC there. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird because his words sounded so passive, but they felt so aggressive. <laughs> if only there was a term for that. Learned a great deal from my lovely wife. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not being—I'm not being mean to Rick here. It's just this is just like he is just definitely his team has been outrageously murderous, hasn't it? Like, there's no, there's no denying yeah. that. He's, now he's got the choice here again. There's there's four dice if he wants it on this guard stand firm dwarf. Um, but if there pushes, he puts himself massively at risk again. I think he's got to dodge this one first, right? Because he's got to protect his dancer. He doesn't want his he's dancer. Got, yeah, right. that dancer absolutely needs a screen in front of it. Much more importantly than that dwarf needs tickling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would PC say he knows a thing or two about tickling dwarves. It's wood elves. <laughs> Good morning, sick. Yeah, some of the World Cup torches were. We're not the best. <laughs> well, I mean, that's, if anything, quite emblematic of the World Cup itself, isn't it? It's all about representation around the world, not necessarily the best teams. This one, though, this this dancer, Orion says, this dancer could get claw pumped, right, if he doesn't protect him. So he's used his reroll on this, and he's not yeah, protecting I'm him really surprised that we didn't prioritize protecting it a tiny bit more so we are with the last elf dodge but yeah. if this one fails it's still at risk yeah i wouldn't be amazed if it fails to see uh, rick put in as it has to see rick put in all three go for it and uh, and try and get his claw pommer dicing that uh, that plus strength dancer yeah I'd, I'd be quite surprised not to see it yeah yeah he's getting hit yeah He's definitely, I mean, he's 100% double GFIing in here. There is no doubt in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> but I would have protected this yeah, one first, just because this one was easier, wasn't it? I think trying to help us all... Uh, <laughs> trying to help us all um, get down with the kids here. I think we are definitely going to see a, a big man ting. <laughs> I think I would have not stalled. I don't think it was worth the ward answer getting claw pumped. No, I, I think when that... Had he moved the ball already before the, uh, the re-roll went really early? Because I do think he needed to recover every piece to keep himself safe. And it yeah, he did move the ball. And he didn't really have to move the ball, did he? Like, no, he didn't. It, it could have stayed till later in the turn and then taken that decision if needs be. Mm. Yep, so Rick is definitely doing the, the plus two, coming down his ends. <laughs> yep. Ooh, here it's comes another greed. Yep. <laughs> oh, that was always going to happen. It's almost, 
It's almost like Rick doesn't think he has, you know, a four-turn need-to-score drive in his future. He, he absolutely doesn't. Only a stun. Uh, Rick, I don't think, particularly cares about scoring this half. Don't get me wrong, he will if it looks optional. Yeah. But uh, he plans to score in the second half and then win in overtime against no elves. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. It's wor and it's worse from so far, hasn't it? Yeah, I mean, if, if that's yeah. what it needs, don't get me wrong. If he can score you know, this this half and then grind out the long drive in the second half, he absolutely will, of course. Um, but it, it's not necessarily central to how he plans to win. Doesn't get it on the foul. Oof, two big hits on that, Dancer. Um, I think that's enough pressure to make Nick score. With the Wizard, um, a really light defense screen left. That Dancer getting fouled again if he doesn't score. I think Nick's going in. Yeah, I think he is too. Can he plink? He can. He can hit this. He can hit this DP, can't he? And get the guard in. Two yep. D, the dirty player, then score. I think that looks nice. Nope. It's like uh, Nick's watching the stream here. That's exactly what we've got coming. Mm. <laughs> not, not the toughest <laughs> play to call, was no, it? No, it wasn't. Yeah. Um, gets the KO. <laughs> so that's both DPs off the pitch for now. One sent off, one KO'd. Yeah, that's a good point by Baza. Too much pressure and hopefully down to no half. I mean, this is the danger, right? He's greeted. I think he could have got away with not greeting the first one. I mean, the, the dancer, it's really hard not to greed. But at two rerolls, I think he had to not greed. And now, yeah, he's only got this one reroll in the rain. I mean, he's got he's got two hands and everything. And, and he's got a wizard, but it's a bit tricky, isn't it? He has yeah. To if he scores this, he wins 100%, basically, isn't it? So... Uh, like both his nice. KOs back is, uh, is possibly quite good. I mean, without them back, he would have been down to 10, which would have just you know, helped Nick slightly on the numbers. Nick now at a maximum of 9 at any point. It also puts the dirty player back on the pitch, which Nick's not going to be happy about. Um, so lots of bad news in both of those KOs coming back. And they came back, of course, on a pair of sixes because Rick. <laughs> yeah. Um... I think that would be mental yak, but I think you could definitely, um, I think you could definitely use the wizard offensively to like blow a hole, you know, in a screen or whatever to score. Like, yeah. I think if you use the if you use the wizard to get this touchdown, that's that's a great move. I mean, I think the attrition is going to come, um, and particularly as the screen yeah. is already thinning, he's going to get other shots at these dancers. It's going to be really hard to keep both safe. This is the classic, like, all three LOS hits, just straight up Red Cross people off the pitch. <laughs> yeah. Well, of the four hits, I'm going to predict two off pitch. I think I think that's... Wow. I think either the I'll three take the over. five or something else. You're going over two? I'm going over two as well, yeah. Right. Okay, so... <laughs> wow. maybe, maybe, not, maybe not Kaz, maybe KOs, but yeah, uh, yeah, I, I think we're... Yeah, removed from pitch, that's... Yeah, really stuns are your friend here because uh, they're not off the pitch. I'm going for because Rick's I'm also going to foul. Five. I'm going for five because I I think he'll get a rock as well. <laughs> <laughs> I have so six, six so six with six with a foul. Oh wait, no, 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 no six no, rock. Yeah, no, yeah, five, 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 five. Wizard. You have yeah, Femi yeah. called it as well. Uh, <laughs> Femi is going for full on six. <laughs> Why not? It's hand wizard. It's just end of turns bolts for dominance. I mean, you could fireball. You could fireball three. You could fireball three, rock one, and remove four. <laughs> you could get eight off this turn. Oh, uh, you to see it. Instant. Well, there's one. <laughs> PC's such a sucker. Good thing we bet a lot of money on this one. Right? Yeah, I'm not right. <laughs> <laughs> We've got all the money, all the money riding on them all in two. I just know from personal experience that when you hit AV7, it just doesn't break. Mm -hmm. Even <laughs> mighty blow, ever. Yeah. That's true. Um, I mean, that is absolutely true. Thank oh, you very much. Flicky back oh. for the raid. Glorious. And elves get their own way at all times. So that what wasn't a piling on, on door. Um, the first one removed, of course, uh, without mighty blow, because he wants to hit the tree, because why not? Of course he does. Yep. And he wants to hit one of the better elves, so that's where he's putting his uh, his particularly rowdy chops. 
See a pile, this will be a pile of removal here. Yeah, we're gonna see a pile of not a removal. Not easy. Nothing. It's an armor break. Oh my PC goodness. was PC. right. Good job. We did that. Not yet. Not while, yet. Uh, Rick checks for bugs in his client. <laughs> still got a tree, a uh, tree uh, hit, oh, and a, a, foul. a uh, yeah, 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 foul and a foul. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the foul. He might even foul the tree if he doesn't remove it, because that's where the assists are. Yeah, he's There's only going to be one assist. Fouls. He's got forces uh, in the lino, hasn't he? No. Numbers, two. One's on the ground and one's in a tackle zone, so there's only two. And well, that's yeah, but I mean, if he, the if, he, if he if he kill if he knocks over the tree. Yep, still only two. Oh, oh yeah. I can't count. One on the ground and one in a tank. Wow! And the yeah, tree lives too. Wow, oh we were all tree? too pessimistic. Tree survives the claw. Yeah, he's definitely good day. on the tree, isn't he? Yeah, he good day existing his way here into a, into a, a less terrible position than we'd feared. Four assist foul on the tree. I hate this foul. Jesus Christ. Yeah, me too. Me too. Yeah. And putting his uh, dirty player onto a, a guard. Giving the automatic assist to hit it back. Rick there's is there's lots of reasons not to do this, but Rick's going to. <laughs> yeah, Rick has gone to the Space Cadet School of Bloodball, hasn't he? Completely this playoffs. <laughs> okay, I. Oh, I really don't like this at all. Oh, instant not cast, just by the way. <laughs> you, know, you know an instant cast is coming, right? Seems we all hit it. No, he doesn't no, break it. Nothing. It doesn't break armor. Well. Richly deserved, safety. And the tree's and up! <laughs> now this ball is a long, long way from safety. Yeah. And as I recall, elves are usually quite fast, aren't they? Yeah, they're pretty fast. He's also got a strength four dancer in the backfield. Mm. Um, interesting. Yeah, I, I had noticed that. I think Nick plans to win this by being two up at the half and then... Yeah. Ah, 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 ah. Staying alive, staying alive. <laughs> so I think we're going to hit the ball because that's the piece that can get back and help out and I think we're going to see every elf that can get their pile into this backfield try and cut this ball off from the pack yeah. whilst the tree does what it does best which is suck up some hits from all of those lovely chorts being a wonderful twat magnet absolutely oh perhaps I'm wrong are we yeah we are strength four hitting the ball yeah, yeah it was and we're screening off the pack from the ball area and we're pushing rowdy on this ball carrier Oh, Oriolensis, I'm really ashamed I missed that. That is lovely. That is better. Daka, ah, ah, stay in a land, stay in a land. Yeah, that's better. That is better. My apologies, it's too early in the morning. Yeah. Shouldn't, but wouldn't you, wouldn't you call it a with, withdrawn? You make that, make withdrawn, withdrawn offense. offense. Yeah. Yeah, make that, make that the song now. <laughs> God, no. Please. I've done it too many times and got away with it, I felt. Um, I'm not going to push my luck. Yeah, this was this was pretty hideous by uh, Rick, wasn't it? It was terrible. It was an awful plan. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I don't know why we need to hit the tree at all. I'm just not concerned about it. I, I do think removing elves is a good plan for him. But we've got two chorfs on the ground. They're going nowhere. We've got chorfs on the tree. Um, even if we hit the tree, they're not getting through this screen very effectively, are they? No. What the hell is the ball going to do? And this is where the tree dies, probably though, and suddenly everything can go turns Yeah, around everything will be fine. Right. Yeah, if you didn't see blocks... this coming, you've not played Wood Elves before. Yeah, cause... jump up, block the tree, Kaz. Blit blitz the sidestepper, Kaz, and then Kaz. run through the hole. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen Rick games before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, somehow this all works out, doesn't it? But it. it... I mean, this, I'm not a genius for calling this play from Nick. That was, I mean, surely anyone that's played Elf saw that was what was happening. Yeah, of course. The Strength 4 Dancer was just, it was like it was like a homing missile to this full centre, wasn't it? There was, no, yep. there was no doubt then. Which was the only piece left back for some ball cover. Yep. And oh, I'm not sure why the bull is standing up before we've seen that we've cleared the tree and have some movement up in the, the big pack. Because surely up by that bull is the only place the ball is even vaguely safe. Oh, he pros the jump, the jump up. up! Wow. <laughs> That's how the tree is gonna die. No? Not yet. 
Yep, yeah, no. Ah, yeah. there, it is. <laughs> there, yep. there it is. Yep, that's... You can't, uh, it's badly hurt. Can't apple it. Won't apple it. <laughs> <laughs> Pro, the greatest skill in Blood Bowl. L's now at a maximum of eight. Every fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, I think you that, need that, to... that was written that that was written in stone from a hundred years ago. That that just... play was happening. Yeah, absolutely. Right now. We yeah. we desperately need to kill this sidestepping. He, he doesn't have to, right? He could just pass. He could he could he could move this. Yeah, he going. could throw to the other eighty four, but yeah. we need a, a route that isn't over an elf, don't we? Yeah, but I he mean, can, I still see smashing the sidestep guard piece and then passing to the other hobgob. Is the only real option here? No, oh, no th this is the player here going down the sideline. I'm sure of it. He's not doing it. Okay, and then, yeah, okay. Okay, I hate this. Well, this... He's going to make a make a dodge in into the middle of the field yeah, here. Yeah. Double GFI. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Base Price. cage. Mm -hmm. Based on a guard cage. I much prefer blitzing this, uh, blitzing this guard. Getting the ball down here. Yeah. Oh, it, Rick will become my personal hero if he goes full Death Star here, though. <laughs> I'll go for the hand. No, I don't. I don't like going for the handoff. Just make a big, big monkey cage here. Yes, I mean he's already numbers up enough that if he just oh, I, I think he's lots of things in there, it might work. But he can't stay here. He has it. to GFI. So at least do the GFI. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Oh, then if he's going to oh, throw yeah. it, Jim. Yeah, throw it rather than yeah, because he's he really is thinking about the handoff. Oh dear. Yeah, yeah. He's got a cage that can advance with the ball. I, 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 oh, it's a <laughs> it's a surefire way to lose the game, but if it works. Well, that thing on the is, yeah. It's only a three plus. Oh, there it does have one off? re roll. You got it. And he makes it. He's got four players there to form a cage around the ball. Yep, guard two on of each which corner. have guards, so he can have uh, he yeah. can make it at least even if yeah, and even if the strength four gets there, it, it doesn't look like it's going to. Could then, he have uh, pushed more to the left there though to stay away from a lot of that team? It doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. Distance was. It's about even. But then I mean, actually, a couple of risks, but this has this yeah. has sort of worked out all right for Rick, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, he's certainly, certainly. In fairness, that wasn't that wasn't that hard. No, it wasn't. No, no I just didn't. No, he, he does have dodge on his AG4 ball carrier for that little dodge that he did. So it was a one in thirty-six on the dodge, um, yep. and not through tackle. The, yeah. um, the bigger and thing is three on the just... handoff. So it's not terrible. Yeah, the bigger thing was just failing at at any point just yeah. ends the game for him. Yeah, yeah. That's the so thing. you know, but it was horrendous. Yeah. Yeah. But Rick's the kind of player that's going to look at it and be like, well, this is my shot. I'm going to take it. And I mean, I, I liked the green, you know? particularly the bull and the, the, the other side of it. But the, the two that were next to each other, that never looked quite strong enough from Nick. I was a little surprised he left that shape that way. But I guess the final fail dodge would have secured that a little better. Yeah, well, he dodged out with it. He used a reroll on the on the catcher, didn't he? I think made a GFI and he would have made another GFI if he hadn't used the reroll. And maybe he should have gone for that GFI anyway. Yeah. But then if he had, of course, then that sideline player opens up even even more, obviously. So. Yeah, absolutely. If it fails, the fail state's terrible. But um, I made a similar mistake in a Goblin game the other day where I'd used both my sure feet and my re-roll, and really that second go for it was needed, and I just didn't do it. Wow, Nick going in with the big reds. But it is strip, and he is it strip. Is yeah, and it is an AG5 piece, so there might be yeah. a recovery. Yeah, yeah, it's here. not the sure hands. Yeah, that was a big, another big danger of that handoff. Yeah. And it lands in three tackle zones. <laughs> yeah, not a bad place to land. And Nick already really short of the numbers to get back and just muddy this picture even more. And uh, and one of Rick's killers is, of course, available uh, to come in and do some hitting. Oops, your feet popped. Yeah. And again, does he do the second go for it? I 
I still think you need to to tie up this chore for the front. And this is why I didn't like this player, right? Because if you keep it, if you just keep it in a big mass of players, they can't do this to you. Now Rick has split, split his team on consecutive turns, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's... And he gave it to a guy without your hands. I Although, of course, uh, the pom piece on the ground amongst its many, many, many other killing skills does have jump up. So it can get back involved. Uh, the other killing piece, the Juggernauts, is uh, is definitely in range. The Bull can come that way. The Plus Agility can get back involved. So quite a lot of Rick's team can get back to where oh, this yeah. ball is. But it's certainly a muddy picture. This is huge, isn't it? Oh, God. Even the push yeah. isn't bad because he gets a claw pom here. But now that opens up. The claw pom GFI smashes Dancer to pieces. Three dice, is it? Yeah, three dice. Three, four, five, six, seven. Three dice on, on the... Oh no, I didn't like that. I mean, <laughs> after saying about not going so greedy, I think that was a, a time to be greedy there. Sorry, but better I made that yeah. horrible noise into the microphone than said what I was thinking, I think, there. Um, <laughs> however, this looks again like it's probably going to all be fine, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, he did have multiple options, so it's not. I think the what's fine. really delaying Rick here. I think he'll pick up again with his uh, his short hands hobgob here. Yeah. Um, I think what Rick's thinking about now is, um, does he dodge the dirty player to foul the AG6, or does he foul with his less good AG4 hobgoblin? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it's getting fouled. The question is just simply how. Oh, definitely, definitely, he's going to dodge the air because he can, he can, he can move this guy out of the way. He's, 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 he's a hundred percent dodging. Oh, I guess he could have blitzed and free. He hasn't blitzed yet, has he? Oh, so the bull must be the blitz, and uh, I think it is to free the dirty player. Mm. But then why didn't he do it with the claw pommel? Oh, that's a good question. I don't know who he's is he blitzing to clear his other claw pommer, maybe? Or is he blitzing with it and then trying to bring it back? Anyway, this is the pickup. Bull, Bull the could be blitzing oh, the catcher. Yeah, that's what I was yeah. looking at, too. Yeah, that's what he's doing, yep. Okay. That's actually quite good. It, it you know solidifies the cage. Yeah. Now, it is just that question of what is fouling the, uh, the AG6, the AG5, isn't it? Yeah, so this is the thing is, he, if, if, if he makes this block first or not, because if he makes this block and it's a push, that stops yes. the, the foul completely. So maybe he just does the dodge now for the foul. I think you probably just do the straight up dodge. Could have thrown in a reroll if he had uh, if he hadn't spunked him. Nope, he just gets the pal first because it's Rick. <laughs> <laughs> And piles on. The Index Elves have been very resilient, all things considered. I mean, yes. he's taken three cars, but yeah, I know, I know what you mean. Like, yeah. he's taken a lot. Yes. <laughs> no, yeah, I know. It could actually have been worse. <laughs> I stand by my statement. Yeah, it could have been worse. Yeah. And just four assists on the foul. <laughs> uh, well, not, okay, not that, that one's on me, Nick. <laughs> that one's on me, Nick. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> oh, appoing. Keeping him in for the game makes sense because he's got to win it, but scary for the finals. We've seen this before. The minute a war dancer goes, he throws the apo at it. Uh, yeah, that of course. surprised me. And that no, is the second surprise, dirty player gone. Scary. So now the uh, the Chaos Dwarves at a maximum of 11, and the Elves at a maximum of not very many. Yep. And you can get a uh, 1B eight. on the ball here, Nick, can't he? But that's, that's all he can get. If he even tries it. This one stand-up counters all three assists, so like it's pretty easy, isn't it? Dodge, leap, one D. Doesn't even dodge, just just leap, one D, pow, catcher gets it. It's it's not unlikely that Nick just scores here, is it? <laughs> I didn't love that stand-up. It must oh, be gosh. to prevent. <laughs> it must be to prevent uh, you know, the catches assist. if he. The secures assist, it. We, it's the assist. He, he can he can one D from the. Okay, yeah, he's coming yeah, in from that yeah, that corner, right? He's coming in from where the bull is, isn't he? That side. Yeah. yeah. 
which it, again does make sense when I think about it because if it works it pushes the ball out towards the free piece that hasn't moved yeah uh, and then he's got a receiving option again down that same flank so there's a there's a good plan here which... just need to pal <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh dear. Well, now Nick is in trouble. And now I think that uh, that strength four has to run away. I yes. think it has to three plus two plus and get the hell out of there, or else it's dead. It sure seems that way, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that uh, that dancer reminds me of a teenager having extramarital activities in a horror film. It just is obviously dead. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You can chain the dancer under the guard and hit the normal line. Oh, extramarital. I was. I have. I've been up all night. I thought you said extraterrestrial. <laughs> no, no. Basically, I'm saying if you're a teenager in a horror film having sex before yeah. marriage. Yeah, no, no, no. I get it. I totally get it. I just. I was like, what horror movie is he referencing? Species? <laughs> yes, don't sleep with the pretty woman in species. That That's also a thing. Yeah. All right. It would have been a six plus leap. Yeah, that's, a, that's I mean, that is the thing, right? Like, the four plus leap that dancers get by default in, uh, in Blood Bowl 3 really isn't that bad. But it's the thing is that you can, you can do setups like, you know, that, that make it a six plus is what makes it. Actually, H cage. I think yeah, the H cage yeah. might be all the rage against Woody's. For sure, for sure it will be. Yeah. Which I've always quite liked against vampires. It's much harder to cancel all the assists if you've got four on the ball from the only two ways in. Yeah. Um, and then even if they hypno cheat those, just that the fact someone's in that square is still really useful to you. And that's, of course, I mean with dwarves, because dwarves can't run away from vampires, which is definitely the best defense against vampires. It's just to not be anywhere near them. They're not that fast. They are slow, in fact, aren't they? Very surprised Nick didn't dodge away. Yeah. I mean, he... It, <laughs> it's, it's working out. Yeah. If he can exist his way through this turn and not let them uh, push forwards, then um, that's going to be good news. Yeah. Yeah, he can still stop the study, can't he? That's the thing. I oh. not like going that way. Well. That's aggressive. Yeah, yeah he, he's going, really he trying to stop it. That that is he must be convinced that if Rick if Rick levels it, that the game's over. So yeah, but he could have gone the other side though. You know, that's not. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if he goes the other side, whether he follows or not, he still gets to stay on the ball. Whereas now he's managed to clear off the ball, hasn't he? Yes, wow. except he's gonna. Oh, and he finally gets the power. I was gonna say, except another push here. He can go back in, but. Yeah. Oh, what it's a stun. Just this time. Which uh, it needed, because if that dancer was still in any way able to move, this ball looks very hard to get it safe now. From a strengthful leaping war dancer. But quite easy to keep it safe from no elves. Yeah. It's a lot easier to keep the ball safe where there aren't any elves to get it. I have always found that, Jim. <laughs> yeah. The sort of top BB insights that we can provide here. So there's one elf. <laughs> <laughs> and they can possibly reach it if he GFIs. There's only there's literally only one elf that can even, like you know, do. I guess he could one D him, so he probably just wants to stay. Oh, he doesn't really want to stay where he is, though, does he? I cage here, maybe. I mean, one step. Uh, northeast of where he is isn't terrible between the bull and. I was thinking more have the have the uh, chaff go up two, uh, like you know up one right one, and then get the. Hobble there is actually forward. a moderately safe square if he goes. Di uh, diagonally to the right. And does a single go for it, then he can only be based. Yeah, that's what he's doing. I didn't like yeah, that's, that's the square I'd have picked. There's a single go for it needed. There we go. And yeah. then he can only be based, and it's uh, 
no tackle can reach him. <laughs> <coughs> so it's at worst a 1 in 36, and the odds are the bull can just um, smash anything basing him off next turn. Mm. So that sh that's a good square he found there. I like that. Yeah. And I think he could be pretty confident here of 1-1 one, one at the half. Uh, Marzen, I, I, I'm not, I can't say 100% no to that, because that's in some ways true, but he's also used, as I said right at the start, with this team and the way it sort of fell apart a little bit earlier, he's kind of used what he's got yeah, in the way it can be used. Yeah. And I, I don't think anyone can blame you if that's what your team is capable of doing, for leaning into that plan. The fact that it's then worked every time, well, you know, sometimes that's going to happen. I mean, also, look at where we are at the half right now. This is not an unrealistic expectation that any of us in, in, in commentary or in the chat would have said we'd be sitting at, you know, like... No, but only looking at these Rick's two teams team. only because it's Rick's team if it was my chops this is just a fucking well, fantasy <laughs> would you, would you yeah, have been amazed to have been fair, five yes, casualty Jim, fair enough. because I would but like no, I don't had, know Rick's had, <laughs> should be at least four more cancers help <laughs> <laughs> well there's been four I think that's about par I think less than that and we'd have thought we've Nick only had survived. a half <laughs> I think um, it's a lot <laughs> I think four cas is a lot in a half. Do you, considering Rick was always going to greed reroll hits, always going to get three dies with his proper killers, always going to pile on every single time? Yeah, I still. Always going to foul following up afterwards. I still think it's a lot. I I think it's about I mean, par. I don't know what I'm going to stick with that for what I expected. If it had been, say, six, I'd have said, wow, that really is Rick rolling. If it had been two, I'd have thought he'd, you know, had some poor dice. But also Nick's had, I mean, I'm more interested in the fact that Nick's had a couple of early turn fails which have exposed some of the elves to this hitting. And I think leaving this strength four in there was, I mean, brave, but there's a time to say, okay, it may not be this half. Perhaps I need to keep this piece alive for next half. Yeah, Nick, Nick, uh, Rick literally blocked his path there. <laughs> yeah, I, but never mind. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> style score there. Well, I mean, it was it was a nice angle to do it from with the uh, the side step in on him. Was well, still only a one in thirty six if he had to do the dodge, but obviously it's safer if you don't have to. Mm. It's a 1 in 36 re-rollable. Uh, trying to avoid another 1 in 36 is, is obviously better. I don't know. I think, uh, unconcerned Elf, I think Rick broke through that line with not not that much luck. <laughs> he did. It was a couple twos. <laughs> like, I think, that's, I think that's being a little bit hypercritical. Yeah. I think I think good day, Nick's, um, as we said, that that extra go for it just to secure that screen a tiny bit more was probably what needed to happen. There. I mean, I predicted Rick for this match just quietly, totally because I thought Rick and uh, <laughs> Rick and Ducky would win, not just a counter pick PC. <laughs> and I yeah. didn't know who was in this match until two days ago. Woo! Um, I picked Nick, and I still. I think he's got some win chances, although you know, not getting either of his KOs back is not very useful. No, not many win chances. But I mean, this looks on, on par starting the second half of five players, yeah. Six players, sorry. Soon to be none. <laughs> well, I had assumed he might get an elf back. Um, <laughs> Welcome to Rick Games. <laughs> Perhaps <laughs> foolishly. And, uh, and Haley and Gary. I thought the one in four wouldn't happen for Nick, and of course it has. Yeah. I mean, you know, like Rick is a lovely fellow, isn't he? Not hating on Rick at all here. It's just, you know, he certainly he's led a charmed he's led a charmed existence in this playoff so far, and it's fair enough, isn't it? Good, good for yeah. Rick. I think everyone's happy. I for mean, him. Rick, Rick has played in a lot of playoffs in the CCL. You're bound to get a run like this after 15, 16 goes at it. You know. And thank you very much, Marquette. Yes, you're right. Both me and Skuro are here. 
Uh, but Jim has decided to stay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Jim's mental facilities are probably a lot stronger than mine right now. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, children, it wasn't easy to screen off the team, was it? You know, like, um, he was always going to have an easy pass to win. Yeah. Yes and no, Chunter. I. I think there was a 2-plus he pulled out of because the reroll was gone that he needed to do. But other than that, I thought the screen was pretty good. Uh, taking down the bull was pretty good. I still think that was the right play to try. But if uh, you know, if Nick really wants to beat himself up and uh, self-lacerate, he could have a little look at that and try and find where there might have been a slightly better shape. Yeah. But it, it certainly wasn't you know, shit wrong and terrible. It, um, it did force... Rick to make, uh, you know, a dodge that if it failed was appalling and cost him the game. And a three plus handoff and that one in nine again failing would have been very, very bleak. I still think that that separation from the whole pack and the ball carrier with only the ball between them was, was just a huge Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? There might have been, I mean, there were almost, I mean, you know, almost certainly was because I would say certainly, but almost certainly to be technically correct. There was almost certainly a, a better, yeah, a better formation that Nick could have done, but there was like definitely better things Rick could have done to stop that, wasn't there? That's the thing. I mean, in, in Rick's defence, it was very much leading into his plan, which was, you know, remove as much as is possible and win against whatever's left. Mm -hmm. So, again, Rick. So yeah, I didn't, I didn't like it. I wouldn't have necessarily coached it that way myself, but. Uh, I mean, I understood the plan. It's, it's not. It wasn't surprising to us that that happened. Yeah. So, uh, four elves. That is uh, definitely peak. He's still one D the ball right now. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna. It's oh, absolutely. Plus five plus. It's, it's not good odds, is it? This is the problem. No. No, but if he keeps throwing those, um, then eventually you expect one to work. Yeah, but eventually his dance is also just going to get obliterated. Yeah, I, the problem there is keep doing them because he doesn't have the players to, so... Yeah. Again, is he going to stay in the cage or is he going to come out? I think he needs to pull this 3-2 to get out. Up. I think he has to. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And with the huge numbers disadvantage, he may Ooh. not get another shot. Uh, yeah. That's the reason why he's stayed, isn't it? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, he's just going to lean in on his sidestep and uh, like yeah. he did at the end of the first half. Yeah, and if they exist and clog it up enough, this might give him another shot next turn. But if, if that doesn't, or if they get removed, which, let's face it, they're going to, <laughs> um, that probably ends the game. And uh, we can start thinking about lunch. <laughs> and Skoro can uh, have a nice sleep. <laughs> And we have a Rick final. Could think about a bolt here. Like, I know it's not necessary, but um... I I quite like that. Um, I mean, the game can be won this turn, so uh, I'd be very tempted to win it this turn. Mm. And the bolt on the strength four gives me a lovely route forward out of this mild problem with my ball carrier and my bull. No. Not happening though. He's keeping it as an insurance policy, which. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Rick has the infinity studs. It, it does feel like that, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, the pro! The pro coming up big again! Well, we've all got to get used to that, Jim, because in Blood Bowl 2020, the pro is huge. Now, is he going to pile on this KO? No, he can't. No, he's not. Hurrah! <laughs> Has the power to resist. Oh, I thought and with the strength all gone, surely all hope is now lost. Rick now just a bit sad. There's no one for this crap old goblin to throw. <laughs> so he's going to take a hit on the side stepper just to hope that he gets a foul target. He doesn't. We can all agree Rick's been diced. Uh, Judas Kane Anus. Um, 
<laughs> prize better if, because it becomes a three plus to re-roll one dice. So it's it's sometimes it's it's certainly a lot safer in terms of you can't re-roll it in dub skulls, and um, so you can use it, you know. But then it's not as good at greeting because you're only re-rolling one instead of two. Uh, but then it's a three plus to work, so it's 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 very Ooh. interesting. I know, um, I, I mean, know it, it's, I know it's... It's a three plus to work on a dodge, on a pickup, so it's more useful for anything that is a single die roll. It's just one better on a d6. Yeah. In terms yeah. of greeting, though, Jim, you're right. It's it's very hard to greed some things with it, uh, to roll re-roll both, but it does mean if you get, for example, a push and a skull, you can re-roll that skull freely, knowing you've still got the push. Yes. So we might even see pro used for more greeting. Yes. Yeah, it's just... Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I knew it was a US, but... Uh... I thought it was funny to say anus. Because <laughs> anus is pretty funny, isn't it? Always. I hope I never get so old that bottoms aren't funny. <laughs> yeah. Rolls a one. Which means the two red is now. A double just one. Horrible. <laughs> Three ones out of four. Into a stun. <laughs> And it's getting kicked in the face, isn't it? Yep. Goblin. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Looking like a pitch clear now, isn't it? Uh, oh, Mackie, that's. Oh man, I've been a fucking complicated for five question. Uh, they do and they don't, <laughs> Mackie, basically. Fuck's sake. Um, if you roll two <laughs> dice, you can use pro on one and brawler on the other, but you can't use them on the same dice. You just only re-roll each dice once in total in any way, using either brawler, pro, or a re-roll. Yeah. We got a easy, easy uh, wood elf one turn coming up here. <laughs> just got to make a bunch of KO rolls first. <laughs> yeah. We'll just put in a mega foul this turn. He might do, might he? Just, he yeah, do with just the stay there for all the assists and kick the AG6 in the face. I think that's the play here, isn't it? There's no hurry to get forwards. There's no elves to stop us. Mm. And as we had, you know, our, probably the biggest threat now is the one turn. So killing the AG6 or even getting it into the KO box for a 50% shot of it coming back is uh, is good strategy. But no, the one time I do think a foul's a really good idea, we're not. We're going to move forwards. Oh, yep. Well, that's fine. There's still not enough elves, really, to be a threat. Yep. Yeah, I mean, we've got this stage now where it basically doesn't matter what Rick does. And, th and that's been the case for a lot of his games, hasn't it? You know, like, it's, yeah. it's, it's, the, it's the way the team's built, and it's the way he has re-rolled yeah. everything. It's just... It's, it's yes, I mean, it, you know, we can say, is he lucky that it's worked so often? I mean, yes, I think he probably is, but... It is also, as I said, that, you know, with what he's got on this team, that's the obvious strategy to, to deploy. So no one can be surprised it's been happening. Yeah. Plus, if you've watched any of Rick's games, you should have known it was happening. Yeah. And the thing is, like, when your opponent's got... Like, when one team's got six players or whatever, all the 11-player team can do is, like, do something that's slightly a little bit wrong, and then you go, oh, why did he make it that easy? He could have moved this here, and that would have stopped that. And all the all the six player guy can do is you know maybe do something funky that no one saw and you can be like oh wow what a great move like it's really hard to play well when you're eleven like look like you're playing well when you've got eleven and they've got six isn't it three yeah <laughs> so yeah. so it's a bit unfair on on uh, on Rick in that regard as well. Now I'm gonna hate myself for saying this. Oh, <laughs> perhaps I just shouldn't. Yeah, maybe. Should Nick have done the withdrawn offense on his drive <laughs> instead of pushing aggressively down a flank and then trying to stall out, knowing that when he stalled out, it was going to mean a lot of hits came in? Yeah. Did he need to burn four turns of not getting hit before trying to push forwards? Yeah, Baza didn't like going for the Dakar, but then also I wouldn't have minded just scoring on turn two and not getting anything hit, you know? Like, I, I didn't like that his stall got the dancers hit and stuff with this. So. Good, I'm glad Bazza thinks no. Um, I, in my heart, don't know. I do think the withdrawn offence has uses. I think it's overused by people that should do what Nick did here more often, which is outmaneuver the team and score when you choose to and put pressure on their drive. Because short drives in the rain are tricky, even with AG4 pieces. Um, but perhaps here he just needed to live 
Yeah, just exist. <laughs> yeah, maybe Mazum, yeah, exactly. Maybe, maybe yeah. Basil, yeah, maybe he should have just scored turn two, or he should have just acted. One of the two, I yeah, think. Yeah, I, I, I think that's probably right, Mazum. I mean, I, I don't mind burning a turn if it's very safe, but as I said, I didn't like hitting that stand firm chore. <laughs> I just didn't see a lot of gain in it. <laughs> this war dancer sucks at leaping. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> well, no one can prove to me that Cyanide hasn't actually coded that AG5 reduces your chances of leaping. Uh, and I certainly wouldn't put it past them. Greed the surf, Rick! Greed it! Nothing. Nothing makes me certain that Rick hasn't got Rick dice and Jim has got Jim dice. To be honest, <laughs> it wouldn't. It wouldn't surprise me at this point. Three times now, I've asked Krista, the Lord and programmer of Fumble, whether he has specifically put code in its engine to give me worse dice than everyone else, uh, and he has never denied it. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, M Mackie, yeah, you know? <laughs> but I mean, this is far from like, you know, it's not like Rick's played terribly and just got insanely lucky like Gasol Mall and Woohoo Boy, so, you know, he's just, but he's certainly got incredibly lucky, hasn't he? Flip me, guys, it's all worked. And as I said, I don't resent it. it, it was the plan, it's the right plan with these people, with what he has, it's the way to use it, I suppose, effectively. It may not be pretty, it may not be for the purists, but uh, it's got him this far, and it's getting him to the final. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Again, That's pending it. a bunch of That's KOs in one turn. Don't be so what hasty, little wrestler. you've got in at the moment, Skrull, I blooming wish I had some. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it's a good point from Bazaar, I guess, right? It's a, it, it, Especially elves are going to have a few rolls, and if if they make those yep. rolls, they're going to win the game, aren't they? And the rolls probably aren't going to yep. be that difficult. Yeah, Baz, absolutely. I, I never thought we were going to get nip and tuck and a lot of midfield movement and you know tiny little um, gains here or there. Either the elves were going to get on top and be two up at the half and then just run away, or the chaos dwarf are going to bang them out. Good evening, Lynn Wrestlers. That was brilliant, wasn't it? That's my favourite. That's my favourite <laughs> so K-Fog <good>. thing ever. <laughs> Have you seen the, the wall of man that is KFO in the press, in the flesh? Yes, it was at Gymcon 2019. Or 2020, whichever one it was. As large you can as just call it Gymcon. It was the only other one there ever was. Alright, he was at Gymcon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as large as he is lovely, that man. He is, yeah, he is a, he is a lovely, lovely fella. Oh, yeah, sorry, Lensis, there. It understands passage of time. <laughs> <laughs> is Rick, Rick's going for the handoff in the rain, isn't he, to a chauff blocker? Yeah. Despite the fact that uh, if he doesn't score, it's uh, going to it's overtime. Attack. Oh, God! Oh, this is <laughs> a five. Just no. a five plus. <laughs> Casually never done. Literally never in doubt. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. Did, yeah, was there any part of you that thought that wasn't happening? Scary? All because right, here comes those Jim, four pluses. Me and Jim had to pretend interest in that role. I think, I think Nick has this in the bag right now. <laughs> Easiest one turn of his life. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's a riot. I predict no riot. <laughs> I predict no riot. There we are. Another little musical interlude for you there, people. Wonderful. No, there's no one turn here. No, no. There's a riot or death. Yeah. And even the riot, uh, because you know, every elf's going to be in a tackle zone, it still has a lot of fail chances. And, of course, there's a wizard, which means that... Uh, Rick, if there is a riot, Rick could just throw a bolt at anything he doesn't like the look of. Yeah. I think the only reason he didn't on uh, on his turn 16 is there actually wasn't anything to bolt. <laughs> yeah, Firm is calling a blitz. 
that would surprise no one, would it? That's, um... <laughs> Sorry, can use the wizard. Yes. <laughs> That would be amazing. Blitz is, of course, massively nerfed in the new rule set, where instead of moving the eight pieces that aren't in tackle zones, you can now move for a maximum of six. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, a huge nerf there. And as written, there's a huge nerf in which skills you can use and stuff. And so it's... Yeah, no, that, that does look like a huge nerf that no one spotted until fairly recently. Um, but, yeah, could be... A huge, huge change. Blitz is, of course, not counting as a team turn, so some of the uh, beardier rules lawyers, all of whom should go straight to hell. Let me absolutely state that. Uh, where they can just argue over a, you know, I always used to say, over a copy of the rules of a game they've never played written in Swahili, but now I just say over a copy of some rules written by Games Workshop. <laughs> um, yeah, they, they are arguing now as to whether, because it's not a team turn, any skill that specifically mentions it can be used during a turn can't be used during a blitz. And until someone asks the developer, he'll go, oh, yeah, we hadn't thought of that. Um, yeah, sure, that's a thing now. Then uh, we don't know 100% for certain. <laughs> yes, so <laughs> Hand in hand with Dwarf Coach. Yeah, no, no one would touch Dwarf Coaches, but a bad choice would be. <laughs> I, I do agree that the uh, the dwarf coaches may be in the sixth level of hell, but that that deepest darkest pit is reserved for the rules lawyers. <laughs> Desperate as they are to suck the fun out of every single gaming experience. Yeah, that's too. Gub that's true. Gobbering Kingu. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Perfect defense is is massively nerfed. Uh, Yak, you can't use a reroll. You can't use the dodge skill. Uh, can't leap. Um, I, there's all sorts of things that actually, if you read them, as they're written, you won't be able to do on blitz turns. Can he get no. more pushes? No, no, he can't. No, he doesn't. He needs like two more players. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's fucked. <laughs> Randall Carissian, I, I think it's horrific that you're suggesting that all Games Workshop care about is separating us from our money and not the integrity and funness of the games that they administer and uh, maintain for the benefit of all. Okay, no, he's not fucked. He's not fucked. He's not fucked, is yeah. he? Yeah. No. There's a... There's... I mean, he's... He's there's slightly a mostly ridiculous fucked. Ridiculous chance. It is, there's a possibility here. Yeah. Yeah, he can, he can go their hand off to him and then he can leap, blitz, sidestep. Yeah, he's got a chance. He's got a chance. <laughs> Holy shit. This would be delightful. Just to have him get pitch cleared. Full on one well. pick up the boards, because he's yeah. not Rick. He's only Nick. There you go. And snakes it. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> oh. Well, what a joyful experience in Blood Bowl that was. One for the purists there. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, there were twos. It was in the rain, but it was still a one in nine after. No, yeah. Yeah. You know, but, yeah, he needed he well, needed a, a four plus catch as well, didn't he? But he had catch, so it wasn't unlikely, actually, was it, to have got something there? Danik is still very much in the driver's seat to win this season's SFL, and that is the competition that everyone strives to win, so I don't feel too bad for him here. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I, I've never asked because I've never cared. Um, what does SFL stand for? Is it? Does it oh, mean anything? It, ch it changes every season. Oh, okay. <laughs> Originally, it was the Shawnee Football League, but then he left inst almost instantly. <laughs> yeah. ah. I mean, I'd assumed with I'll... letting you win it twice, it was Skuro feels loved. <laughs> I mean, that's what I like to think of it as, because letting me win it, because I have earned my two victories. <laughs> anyway, close us out, Jim. Yeah, there you go. There was some dice rolled. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, congrats to Rick JFW forever. So he's got he's got the he's got the greatest challenge winning team name of all time. And you know, he's a lovely fella. Everyone loves Rick. So you know, you got to be happy for Rick. Um, is is kind of 
brainless chaos dwarf as his team is. Um, he existed in Bikadernik, so there you go, the, the arch exister. He out existed him. Uh, congrats to Rick, commiserations to Nick. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thank you very much, Skuro, and thank you very much, Purple Chest. And stay fantastic! <laughs>